right, so, yep. 1.1 hype. Yes, indeed. We got a new trailer. It came out 10 hours ago as of the recording of this. I am very excited. Looking forward to it. Um, so from the looks of it, this is pretty much uh, going to be the overview trailer for the patch. Which, actually, I don't really mind. I'm used to this from what they've all usually done with... Punishing Grey Raven. So we're not getting a live stream. We're not getting a like whole length video or stream. You know, this video is like four minutes and 30 seconds, which is, you know, nice, concise, compact and to the point. So let's see what this will be like. All right. Wait, why is it? There we go. I can feel the Sentinel's presence inside. We'll also watch the Japanese version if we can find it. It's the Dragon Mountain. Ooh! Can we actually do that now? Snow surf, snowboarding? <laughs> Oh, everybody's frozen. Yeah, everybody's frozen. Oh, Mount Firmament. Woo! Nice see Chang Li there in the center. The Sonoro Sphere. They are both a puzzle and an answer. Ah, she looking good. <laughs> proper etiquette. Yeah, I really want to hear this in JP. Beckon the divine flames. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pass. Wow, I li I like that. That is must be That is a good pose. I like that. That is a, that is a good one. <laughs> That's a good uh, thumbnail, huh? You think? Yeah? Mm. Anyways. New Resonator, Chang Li. Of course, she is the second Resonator that we will be getting in patch 1.1. The first one will be Dinsi. I do plan to get both. <laughs> Hopefully I can I can. This game is almost over. Restore the time. From where does this unfounded confidence arise? He once said it's not easy to become a candle of light. But I still want to try. I want to see if I can ignite a Oh, what's happening there? Guess we'll find out in the chapter story june 28th of eons so new gameplay Ooh, tactical hologram ski oh that's probably it says hologram so so it's like an event it's not really gameplay maybe or it says maybe new gameplay, so maybe this is a puzzle? Okay, so that, but like, uh, if it's only puzzle, I mean, I hope that we can actually do that, like, just in the open world. I hope it's not only restricted to puzzles. Bang bang echo challenges. Oh, okay. Photon vault, photon barrier, new mechanics. Oh, for puzzles, okay. Pressure platforms, stone lifts, light emitters, and light gatherer. Okay. Leap device. Ooh, faster travel. Chrono sorter. Sentinel Jue, calamity class. A 
echo skill. Oh, shoot. No. I wanted to pause it. Summon Jury to attack enemies dealing spectral damage. You can perform resonance skill to deal sustained spectral damage to enemies over time. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, uh, I mean, this is most likely, like, made to, uh, to be used with Jinshi. Because it's all spectral damage, but still. Okay. Horror cost, Calamity class. Uh. Oh, there. Hmm. Lumis scale construct. Oh! <laughs> it turns into a freaking huge sword! <laughs> Wait, did that, uh... Oh, okay. Uh, is it that short? I'm really hoping, like, they make Echoes, like, become kind of a mount. Like, the Inferno Rider has some distance it could travel, but I wish it was, like, it could just keep going until, like, you click this skill again and then it will stop, rather than it being, like, a, after a certain distance or after a certain time it will revert back. But, oh well. We'll just have to see, I guess. Glacio Dreadmain. So, ice version of the Dreadmains. Heal consecutive attacks can be cast in mid-air. Ooh, interesting. Mmm. Okay, Larva... Lava Larva. Someone la continuously attacks. Okay. But yeah, a bunch of new echoes, which is nice. Clang bang. So I'm assuming we're going to be using the clang bang for uh, mostly puzzles. Oh, that was interesting. Dwarf Casso cassowary. I I don't know. I just feel like dodo bird. <laughs> And then we have the Broadblade, Ages of Harvest. That is uh, Jinshi's signature weapon. Sword of Blazing Brilliance for Chang Li. I would like to get both, but then again, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and event info, Mount Firmament Area Events. So unlock after completing specific main quests. Related quests can be taken and completed with rich rewards in Mount Firmament. So, Astrite right there, and of course, leveling materials, definitely. Photo collection event. Alright. Oh, Depths of Elusive Realm! Okay. So, we'll, it'll be changing up, that's good. I'm hoping they let us use more characters. The one thing um, I'm not really liking about the depths of the elusive realm right now is that it you're limited to certain characters that you can use per stage hey wraith hey raiders what's up so hopefully we get to use more of the characters here Tactical Simulacra. So I'm assuming this will be similar to the simu uh, Tactical Simulacrum in Punishing Grey Raven, but we'll see. They haven't really given info on that. Lolio Campaign. Gis Gifts of Celestial Light, seven day login event. All right, so we have five standard pulls, five limited pulls. Uh, honestly, I wish there were all limited pulls for limited character pulls. Uh, but I guess that's how they're doing it. We'll see how people will react to that. Event info. Special check-in event. Rewards to be collected in three stages, each unlocked on specific dates. Ooh! Log in the game to check Okay, that's interesting, but the thing is you have to be sure you log in on these specific dates, but that's 30 pulls. 
30 limited character pulls, 30 limited weapon pulls, and then 30, uh, no, not 30, 10, <laughs> 10 limited character pulls, 10 limited weapon pulls, and 10 standard pulls, which is nice. Okay, okay. That's, that's better. But you just have to be sure you're logged in uh, on the right time. Okay, so so plus the seven day login, that's forty pulls for a patch. Hmm. That I had to correct myself. Yeah. <laughs> but still, wow. Still, I mean that's like forty pulls in total. As long as you log in on the correct times. It's odd though the timing, like on this is is it specifically on the fourth of July, or is it any time after the fourth? I guess we'll see. And it's weird. Four, six, and then ten. Oh well. The important the I feel like the important ones are on July four and July six. But still, all right. I I'm I like the trailer. The, a lot of the <laughs> <laughs> Especially the the cutscenes featuring Chang Li, really, really good. Uh, really good poses. Nice. Let's see if I can find the JP version. Yeah, this sounds a bit off, but I guess that'll do. Yeah, it's pretty much almost on point. Waiting for the Changli part. <laughs> and here it is. I can hear Tamamo. That is uh... Oh, that was so nice. That, like, that just gives, like, we're meant. Is that her voice actor? Yep! That is essentially Tamamo. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish there was a bit more of, like, Tamamo's playful side in the voice acting, but I mean, still, I can definitely hear. I can definitely hear hear Tamamo. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's the part I wanted to I wanted to see uh, or hear more like. But yeah, I am excited. I'm uh, definitely looking forward to June 28th. That's Friday. 1.1 is coming. And uh, I will be summoning for Jinshi when that banner drops. So I hope you'll join me for that stream when I do go online. Uh, why does uh, Mail Rover on that image look like he's on demon timing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, um, I kind of wish that Chang Li was first, honestly. But I mean, I, I, I'm definitely going to go for both Jin Shi and uh, Chang Li. But, you know, I guess I'll just have to wait another three weeks for uh, Chang Li. But yeah, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. There's going to be a lot of things to stream. So looking forward to it, especially as the patches drop, content drops. Um, next week will be especially busy with, you know, I'll still be going through the Withering Waves 1.1 content. We'll have uh, Fate Grand Order anniversary for the English server. We will have uh, Zenla Zone Zero's launch. So there's going to be a lot of things to look forward to in uh, the, the coming week. So, yeah. Very excited, though, for 1.1. Looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys will join me for for the streams on both uh, Twitch and YouTube. All right. And in case you've reached this point in the YouTube VOD, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Later, YouTube.